What's up everybody, this is Spectacular Smith and welcome to the Spectacular Spirits. What up everybody, this is your host Spectacular Smith and today I want to jump into why you should stop trying to please everybody. A lot of times everybody try to please everybody and y'all just really want to like satisfy your mom, your dad, your friend, your sister, your second cousin, brother, your daddy, dog, uncle, cousin, and juju in them. But that's not going to get you anywhere. I'm sorry to tell you, but you're not going to get anywhere trying to please every single person. Why? Because you're not going to be able to connect with every last person that you're actually around. You're not going to be able to satisfy everybody who's listening to you. Like right now, I'm not going to satisfy everybody who comes to my podcast. That's just a fact of the matter. Nobody is going to be able to do that. At all. So the best thing you can do is just not try to even do it. Because once you even try, that's when you're going to fail. That's when you're going to realize I fucked up because you're going to try to cater to everybody. And then you're going to lose your ability to please the people that you need to be pleasing because you're too busy worrying about everybody else. And that's why a lot of people say figure out a niche. Figure out the people that you're targeting, your target market. That's what they call it. Figure out your target market, your age. What What's the age of those people? You know, what ethnicity or like where do those people chill at? What do those people relax at? What do those people read? What do those people think about and listen to? That's what you got to figure out. And once you narrow in and zero down on those type of people, then that's when you start winning. Now, why? I just gave you why you should stop listening to people. And I'm going to give you a good story right now. And I like to give stories about myself because that's the only way I can really connect with everybody on a a genuine level, right? I don't want to be fake and phony on this podcast. I want to give you something from experience, something that I experienced myself instead of being one of those people that act like they know certain things, but they're really just guessing or they read this book or they, you know, did certain things or seen other people do things. But I want to give it to you straight from me and experience that I experienced. So one of the things I did that I tried to pretty much like satisfy everybody I'm going to talk about one of my friends that actually became a client of mine. He was actually a blogger and he had a blog site that was pretty much catching on fire. He was a really good entrepreneur. He started this blog site and in his content, he really wanted to target everybody like he wanted to target whites, blacks, Mexican Like he pretty much was everybody, moms, dads, kids. He was trying to target every single person and he was putting out content talking about, you know, old white people. He was talking about young black people. He was talking about Mexicans and he was trying to get political stuff. He was trying to do every single thing, trying to please every single person. But what happened was when he posts things about black people, the white people get offended. When he started posting things about white people, the black people get offended because he wasn't really fit in that culture the right way so when he actually started to say certain things or post certain things on his blog social media channel it kind of conflicted with a lot of things so I had to sit down with him I say listen you can't please everybody pick a niche if you really urban you're urban individual you understand the urban culture the urban community let's figure out content that's around the urban community that can actually connect with them on a physical level, on a mental level, on a spiritual level, because you understand that market. Don't jump into a whole nother market you know nothing about, because now the culture different, you're going to clash there. Like, I don't want to talk about anything, you know, Asian, because it might be offensive to them, and you might think that you're doing them some justice, or you might be thinking that you're connecting with them, but it just flew straight over their head. So I was trying to teach him, like, listen, you're going to offend people. 
You're going to do things that you don't want to do, and it's going to have a backlash on your brand. So let's target down on the people that you know how to connect with. Let's target down on the people that's actually going to buy your product and click on merchandise and buy and buy things that you put in front of them because you connected with them so well. Then they actually want to be a person that supports you and everything that you have going on. So by you doing this and actually targeting the right markets, it's actually beneficial to your brand. And when I told him that and he understood and he started connecting, now his his actual blog site is on fire. His social media, his Instagram has over a million followers on it. And he's booming like crazy because he understands his market. He understands his niche. Now he could really perfect his craft and not be a jack of all trades and a master of none. He learned how to master his niche. And you can be great at this one thing that's going to take you to the top. You don't have to know about everything. All you got to do is be a master at that one thing that you want to be a professional in that nobody can fuck with you on. You need that one thing. And you you go there and you read about it and you learn about it and you stop trying to please everybody and you just zero down and focus on that one thing and master that. Y'all listening to this right now. All right, Speck, that was a good story. But how, like, give me some tools. Give me some things that I can do to stop. I think the easiest way is so simple. Stop asking for permission from people. Just do what you got to do and then apologize later. Once you understand exactly what you want to do and you just do it, because a lot of times people don't see your vision. People don't see Things that you see because they go off of the past. They go off of what's been done already. So when you stop trying to go and ask for permission for certain things, it's going to actually enable you to get where you got to go because now you're making progress. Right. You're not trying to please him, her, 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 him, him, her, her. You're actually getting shit done. And when you're getting shit done, you're making that progress. That's going to take you to the places that you want to be, not only in business, but in life, because this goes for personal. This goes for business. It's the same thing. Try to figure out ways that you can actually benefit yourself and once you benefit yourself you could benefit others and others that actually is going to benefit off the things that you are bringing to the table because you have things that you can bring to the table but you're sitting here waiting to please every single person and you're asking for permission and you sitting back and you waiting and you saying someday someday when i get to this when this perfect time come it's never going to be perfect and that's one thing i know for sure because every single thing that i ever tried to do in life period nothing's ever been perfect nothing From the time I started my business, from the time I had my first son, from the time I had my second son, from the time that I like reached in my pocket and donated some money. Like it was times where I didn't even have enough money, but I felt like that person needed it more than me when I was coming up and and actually getting my stuff together. But the time is never right for anything you do. Rather, it's anything from donating to you just just never know. Like, it's just never right. So when you're waiting for that right time, that right moment is never going to be perfect. So stop trying to please everybody and get your shit together. No more waiting. The time is now. And this is the day that you're going to be great and do what you need to do. Stop asking for permission and just go test shit up and go break it down and apologize later. So for today, I want y'all to do some homework. I want every single person that's listening to this podcast, I want y'all to DM me on my Instagram. I am spectacular and tell me one of the things you did to stop trying to please everybody. I know I only have a quick podcast. I can't go over every single thing, but I want y'all to tell me ways that y'all actually learned how to stop pleasing people and how to actually move forward and get shit done. Y'all send me a DM. I want to know how everybody doing. Y'all my mentees. Y'all, hey, listen, I'm here to help and I'm a type of person that know I don't know everything. So I'm a listening ear. So y'all can message me. Let me know how everything going. Let me know how the podcast going. And let's make this thing happen. Let's go. It's the spectacular experience.